Hi everyone, Manchi here. The recently concluded T20 series started with a disappointment on Dhoni's face and a happy ending on Sachin's face thanks to Shuman Gill's terrific century. In this video, we'll look at a review kind of thing for the T20 series, understand exactly why uh, New Zealand shouldn't have lost in the way they should have lost and uh, India was of course good in a lot of areas. Still, a slight more concerns, we'll discuss that. And finally, the most debated topics was India right in not giving Prithvi Shah, at least in the third T20. So if you like this, what we are going to cover, welcome to this video and we'll immediately get started. The first obvious thing I wanted to discuss is that uh, why New Zealand lost it in the way that they shouldn't have lost. Because of course, losing a T20 series is no harm, like um, it happens. But it's just the uh, factor numbers of their top performers, expected performance. Say like Finn Allen just scored 49 runs. Champman 14 runs, Phillips 24 runs, Bracewell 23 runs. You can't um, expect these kind of poor performance from the batters whom you expect to win the matches for you. And comparatively, when you also look at the bowlers, Lockie was the only recognized fast bowler in that squad. And Lockie going for around 50 runs in the third T20 and around 33 runs in the first T20. It doesn't look uh, good uh, for New Zealand from the fast bowling concern. Of course, Saudi was rested, Bolt is not considered. Loki should have taken more responsibility. He failed to do so. Parallelly, the experienced bowler is Shodi also. His figures read 3 overs 30, 4 overs 24 and then 3 overs 34. In Indian pitches, he should have dominated our batsman but he just let it in the opposite way which was also a concern. And um, predominantly, failure of their top performers was the main reason why New Zealand lost. But Santner as a captain, please do drop in your love for him in the comments at the end of the video. He was such a great, calm, composed and a confident leader and I think this would be a great positive for New Zealand in case Williamson or uh, Saudi need to be rested or dropped. In some case, they have a ready-made great captain available in the form of Mitch Santner. Apart from that, uh, their second pace bowling option they tried uh, was not quite effective. They tried Duffy, Tickner and then the last match someone named Lister. Either of the three couldn't really perform. They all went for 40 runs, 50 runs and... Uh, it's just that New Zealand's T20 side is not settled for now and that is a main case of worry. So quickly coming back to India, let's just tick person by person. Shuman Gil tick, Tripathi tick, uh, Surya Kumar Yadav tick, Huda, Ishan Kishan will come to in a bit, Hardik Pandya tick, and then who else played? Washington Sundar tick, Arshdeep tick, uh, Umran with the limited chances tick, uh, Kuldeep uh, was extremely great. So it was just all ticks, 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 just the, the two things, Ishan Kishan's uh, failure at the top. And we also have to remember that he's the only wicket keeper in the playing level. So really, uh, India couldn't look for more options. So this is when I also posted about this uh, in my Instagram reel or something. What I mentioned is that uh, since Ishan Kishan is not performing at the top, and um, if India need a wicket keeper in the place of him, they have to go and then choose uh, Jitesh Sharma. And Jitesh Sharma's expertise is in the middle order. We saw it for Punjab Kings. And if Jitesh Sharma have to come in, so, unfortunately, Huda have to be sent out of the squad and Prithvi Shah can replace Ishan at the top. So, this is what the change I expected in the final T20 because it was just that Ishan was not giving runs. So, his scores read 4 out of 5 and then 19 out of 32, 1 out of 3 or something in the last T20. It's just that he is not giving the start that the new brand looked Indian T20 is expecting out of him. And it is a huge worry. I understand he is a kicker and I understand he is a future talented and of course like I posted on all my Instagram posts Ishan I have been following you from 2017 and I like you a lot but I think I have utmost right to have this criticism on you so Ishan's performance is really a huge uh, concern of worry and in fact to tell you a stat uh, in the last 14 or 15 or 16 T20s that he has played only twice he has scored 30 plus consecutive runs and this tells how bad he is at consistency so my gut feel is that um, India have to have Ishan in the squad in some capacity outside the 11 and have him as a great backup whenever needed he can jump in. But in the playing 11, I would like to have Prithvi Shah opening with uh, Gil potentially and then Jitesh Sharma should be tried out at number 6 because he is a talent to be backed. So this is around uh, Prithvi Shah's disappointment and Ishan's uh, poor performance and slightly also the interesting case of Huda. Like I mentioned uh, in the first T20, he scored 10 of 10 and second T20, he didn't bat and third T20, he didn't get enough opportunities. But it's just that Ishan putting the pressure at the bottom. Top will have the obvious pressure shifted towards Deepak Huda at the bottom for unwanted reason. 
and um, let's see hopefully india doesn't have any t20s until the ipl is over so after ipl let's see how this uh, squad is shaping up overall it was a very uh, decent series and i think i've covered uh, whatever i want to tell conway and mitchell were star performance from their end and of course here hartik was great with the ball like in fact he is the leading wicket taker in this particular series along with ashdeep as well so it was a decent end and um, just to tell you a few stats like this was the biggest margin win for uh, india and also for t20 entire match itself like india won basic 168 runs and then the lowest score in t20s against uh, india is also registered in this particular series 66 by new zealand in the third t20 so overall a pretty decent uh, t20 series it's just that uh, ishan and then deepak hooda slot have to be replaced by someone else and new players have to be tried out of course probably after ipl we would have the services of jadeja back bumrah back so things would entirely change a different more but so excited to see how it's folding up so leave your thoughts what you feel about this particular series and in the next video we are going to look at the preview of the entire indian team for the border gavaskar trophy and also sadly i have already recorded the video australia is looking extremely extremely strong like never before and it's going to be a very tough challenge for india so covering those videos in the upcoming uh, youtube videos so if you would like it please do subscribe if you are watching for the first time and share this video with your friends who may be interested i'll see you in my next video until then please don't forget to give a like icon at the last and uh, please do take care